Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the COVID-19 situation in Liberia. And overall, Liberia has done very well handling the COVID-19. They're one of the few countries that's actually going to experience economic growth uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. And there are about there have been 84 COVID-19 deaths in Liberia, and there have been about over a hundred and uh, well, sorry, there are about a, a 180 active cases right now, but uh, there have been 1,733 recoveries from the COVID-19, and the total amount of COVID-19 cases overall, that includes recovery, death, and active cases, have been about 1,927. Now, with that being said, um, Liberia, what they've done is, like, when people are coming into the country or they're leaving the country and coming back, there's mandatory testing at the airport, and you're not you're not allowed to pretty much, I mean, you have to be quarantined until you get the test results, number one. Uh, number two, uh, the government is constantly on TV encouraging people to wear a mask, encouraging people to social distance, and just educating the general public about uh, the COVID-19 virus, and that has helped as well. The only reason there are the COVID-19 cases that there are, and you really can't blame people for protesting in this situation, and many of the protesters didn't follow protocol. Unfortunately, they didn't social distance. Many didn't wear a mask, but you couldn't blame them for protesting this situation. There's a rape crisis in Liberia, and about over 95% of rape cases, they don't get reported or the defendant is acquitted. Well, recently, this gang of people went and raped this three-year-old girl, and they... um. They, uh, in order for them to be able to do that, they got a razor blade and cut near her uh, genitalia area, which was sick and sadistic. And it drew nationwide condemnation and nationwide protest. And it raised an even bigger issue about the rape crisis problem in Liberia. And so you couldn't blame people for going to the streets and protesting. It caused national outrage and people naturally just let their emotions get the best of them in that case and demand a change. And I, in a lot of ways, don't blame them. Uh, but overall, Liberia has done an excellent job handling the COVID-19, and they've also been able to secure an IMF loan because uh, they have, uh, they're one of the few countries that, is, that has um, increased their GDP and increased their production since the COVID-19 crisis. And uh, they're still a developing country because they're recovering from an Ebola crisis that happened in 2014, 2015, also three decades from the Civil War. But the IMF gave them a loan because they've been handling the COVID-19 very responsibly and they've still and they've uh, they're still their economy is going in the right direction and not the wrong direction. So God bless Liberia. I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and bye bye. Bye bye.